The Supreme Court in May 2023 ruled that James Jackie Quayson cannot hold himself as the Member of Parliament for Asin North in the Central Region. The court declared his election unconstitutional because of his dual citizenship status. Speaking at a public lecture on Tuesday, the former Supreme Court judge went hard on his former colleagues. In a blunt assessment of the judgment of the Supreme Court, Justice William Atuguba described the decision as alien and scandalous. The James Chachi Quisson's decision by the Supreme Court is with all due respect scandalous in that the court in the chief of the subtle maxim res judicata et non quieta movere re-adjudicated the same matter that has been adjudicated upon by the High Court on the merits. Never seen this type of thing in any judicial system. All that was left was its execution according to court processes. Again, the stress laid by the court on the statutory processes for acquisition and renunciation of citizenship shot itself in the foot. If the certificate of renunciation is so mandatory and conclusive, why was it not conclusive in its effect to qualify Jachi Kwesin when he received the date of 26 November 2020, whereas the parliamentary election was held on 7 December 2020? He called on judges to eschew corruption by upholding their personal values and not allowing ethnic and other interests to influence judicial determinations. Personal independence relates to the commitment of individual judges to the judicial values that ensure their impartiality and fairness. I'm here referring to values such as eschewing corruption and not allowing ethnic and other particularistic considerations to affect judicial determinations. He also urged them to uphold judicial independence by making judges accountable to the people and the state.